Hi guys, this is just a very quick video on SE Prime. This is just to let you know that there is a update that has been released uh, just this evening, which is pretty important. So if you have a look at the storage use here on the SE Prime network, you'll see that over the last couple of days, there's been a massive drop in the amount of uh, capacity that's been used up. Now this is due to an issue in the code, which they have now sorted, and it is all explained here. I will put a link to this in the description. But basically, data is getting deleted before it should do. So not ideal for a data storage provider. So it's good that they've actually fixed the problem now before main customers get on board and start using the system. But yeah, you do have to update your SE Prime to the latest version to avoid becoming foul of this uh, issue that we're seeing. Now I have already made a video showing you how you can update SE Prime. This is both for Windows and Linux, so I'll stick a link to that down below. And you can basically use this. It will obviously be a different version number, but the premise behind it is exactly the same. So yeah, make sure you get your providers updated as soon as you can to avoid losing any of your test data here, because obviously we are still getting paid for the test data at the moment. So you don't want to lose any if you can avoid it. So as always, let me know if you have any problems down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.